I'm speaking with Lloyd Wright, author of Hepatitis C, a do-it-yourself guide for health, which just came out recently. Dandelion root is one of your products that you really like a lot. Tell I us do. what. Dandelion comes in capsules and it comes in a tea, or a bulk form that you make tea out of. Dandelion has been used for over 1,100 years for liver disease. Dandelion can remove toxins from your blood and from your liver. A compromised liver doesn't cleanse all the toxins from your blood, so you become more toxic, you don't feel right, you get brain fog. A lot of people, if they drink dandelion tea for like two weeks, the brain fog will leave. What happens is the toxins in your blood, when they go through the brain, cross the blood-brain barrier, and you, that causes some confusion or brain fog. Dandelion is one of the best items we have that can remove these toxins. Uh, I like it if people drink the tea. Uh, I used to provide a lot of the tea until someone wrote a book saying that you got too much iron from it, but that iron is not the iron that leads to iron overload in hepatitis C. That's a whole different process. So it's important, especially if you're in the later stages of fibrosis or early in advanced cirrhosis, dandelion tea is excellent. I have had clients for 10 years that are, were told they were going to die years ago from cirrhosis. These people that do well are people who drink my teas. And it's just the dandelion is the best one. And another note, almost everybody when they first get it, they make it too strong, they don't like it. Dilute it at least 50%. When you brew it just right, which takes a few tries, it'll taste good, you'll like it. If you don't like it, it's too strong. And it only comes in tea form. Well, we have it in capsules, but the tea works best for a lot of conditions because of the way it's assimilated. The, the capsules are good too, but for best effect, drink the